Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Fed, where I am playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthrough. Last episode, we did ourselves um, the drag keep and just about like the beginning, like basically the ring, 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 or just the, like most of the ring city, I'd say. And today we're gonna go and uh, do some cleaning up by defeating the remaining bosses of the game, which includes Dark Eater Midir, freaking Spear of the Church Half White, or a random and uh, or just a random other player and then we have Gale and then we also have the final dude whom is um, what's his name again <laughs> nah I don't like that yeah what's his name again uh, soul of cinder there you go <laughs> so can't reason I couldn't come up with the soul of cinder okay Miller. You're always an interesting experience. Well, at least this time I'm using a weapon that you don't... I'm sorry, I'm using damage that you don't resist. And I'm also doing a decent amount of damage, so I feel like this battle is going to go by a lot faster than the Sorcery 1 did. Might also be able to maybe finish you off with... Uh, epic crit. Alright. The double bites. Breath attack and man for some slashes. Multiple slashes. Grabbing attack, let's go right away from the moment. One slam and two slam. Get up and slam. And some other text I don't know. There we go. And slice. Or is it straight? I think it's straight, yeah. Alright, this is the big combo. One, two, and then another one, and that one, and then the slam, and then the double slam. And now he's gonna go and try to do his laser attack, right? No, he's gonna try to do dash sword attack. And we're gonna get behind him so that he uses his tail attack. No? No, he's gonna use that attack, okay. Alright, one bite, two bite, which missed, totally. I kind of expected it to go into second phase already, but I guess you're not. Not like, not like I'm complaining. Second phase is scary. Because it can use the big laser attack in the second phase. Then we go back off. So I do think there's a shock right this attack. Alright, the double tantrum, or are we going to do it instinctively again? Nope, you're never going to do the double tantrum anymore. <laughs> I guess I'll never see that attack before. again. Ow. Alright, big old combo. Counter attack. Oh, it's hard to like grabbing attack. Oh wow, already. Jeez. Alright then. Bam. It's been a long time since I've been able to kill Midir with that attack. God dang it. And then, of course, he's gonna go for the double tantrum, by the way. If he does a tantrum in his second phase, he's gonna do a double freaking tantrum, so. What a lovely waste of time, but I only have to hit him one more time. No problem though. I'm fine. Oh, two more times, sorry. Okay. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, cool. That is boss number one dead. In a matter of four minutes. <laughs> Which actually really isn't, which is a really good time, to be quite honest. Well, yeah, I was doing actual good damage. Oh my god! The damage is real. Oh, it's actually starting to rain now. I was wondering what I was starting to hear. Alright. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Look at the health increase, man, bro. Uh, let's see. I guess I can go and get. Uh, no oh, sure, it's going to continue increasing my strength. For those two points of damage. Oh yeah. We're gonna be killing everything and everyone. Um So, let's go over to the inner wall. I do think I'm gonna go and equip my Hornet Ring. Cause I think if I can do a critical attack, critical attack it'll be pretty nice against. 
against everybody, I think. Either Half Light or um, all the other dudes. I don't think I'm gonna need the Ring of Favor. It only increases my health and my stamina by a little bit. I definitely say that the Ring of Favor is not that amazing of a ring. I think if we get the plus three version of that, you can get a decent bonus. But otherwise, it really isn't that. It, it really isn't worth it. I personally think, of course. Because that is what this is all about, opinions. Not really, this is all about gameplay, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> These players, people that are watching this are probably just here for the gameplay and maybe st stupid slash funny commentary. Depends on how you look at it. Alright, we have the ranked knight with his jewel freaking jewel wielding ultra greatsword. Which I will just ignore, because that guy has a metric crap load of health and I don't give a single damn about him. Alright, Argo, you can suck a load of dick. <laughs> the dude's running at me. Can I run? Thank you. And goodbye! Foolish dice! The king's degrees no trifling matter. Ugh, so slow. When I'm gonna do the bow playthrough, I'm gonna shoot this guy with a great arrow in the head. I wanna see what that does. <laughs> Sworn defender of our princess Finidor. Hearken to the call that summoned thee. My first! Alright, where are you gonna spawn up here? Two hand the weapon, and. Of course I fucked it up. What else would I do? There we go. Alright, time for a Spear of the Church. Is he AFK? He's AFK! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. Nice! I win! <laughs> ah, yes! It couldn't be better than this. Awesome. Don't have to leave it half light. I love it when... <laughs> I love it when this happens. Because <laughs> I don't like half light. I don't like the battle. Would have been one. On, it would have been one thing if you were just fighting one on one, with the freaking painting guardians. Makes it just pure. <sighs> it just makes it some form of a gank, and I don't like dealing with that. The problem is that those dudes also heal, like they use miracles to heal. So yeah. Right. And then we have a super aggressive freaking dude. Then you're probably gonna get fucked in some kind of a way. <laughs> Look at him attacking his, uh, <laughs> attacking the demons in his mind. We're almost there, people. Eight minutes. <laughs> Eight minutes into the video and I've already beaten two of the bosses. One was pure luck, the other one was pure skill. And also having at least decent damage, I'd put, with this character. That's pretty nice. Ah, my eyes, my bloody eyes. All right, open, open it to thou the gate, the the gatest. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's late. Please excuse me for my idiocy, potentially. All right. I normally like to watch that cutscene. But I have no time for that shit, because I want to be able to sleep. <laughs> I don't need sleep, I need answers. <laughs> As Cube would say a lot of times. Alright. Oh, Filino! Good job! Filino! Help me! Please! The poor pygmies. Well, not really. <laughs> Do I look like I give a shit? Because <laughs> I don't. A lot in any case. Alright, Gale. Let's go and get you over to a more suitable place to fight. Damn it.
Whoopsie. I'm gonna miss that one there. Oh. What are you, a Dark Souls 1 character? <laughs> I still love that Dark Souls one where sometimes if you take a hit you're like, oh <laughs> It's almost as if he enjoys it. Yep. You're almost into your second phase, I'm pretty sure. Ouch. God dang it. Damn these eyes! Well damn my reflex is really. There we go. Is this the blood? The blood of the Dark Soul. Indeed. All right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. The rings are gonna come back up. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering where they would, where they would re reappear. Let me go and do a heal. You actually managed to miss me. I have no idea how you did it, but you freaking did it. Nice, freaking blocked your combo. Perfect dodging those guys, that's pretty nice. This guy's cape is like, you have to roll really precisely. I feel like he's, in a certain way, Gale is easier in his second uh, is, in my opinion, easier in his second phase. But it is a little more difficult to avoid his time set. And there's a lot of chip damage in the second phase, I'd say. Especially with the cape. <laughs> and that chip damage can really like work you through your essence. So. The same with the crossbow. That's also the the purpose of the crossbow, I think. And also to be cool, really. Because <laughs> the crossbow, I gotta say, is pretty freaking awesome. I love the fact that I almost never get hit by those things when it does that attack. Like he goes. Whoopsie. Okay, let's go and get up. Here comes the big old combo again, and I fucked it up. Can I roll? Nope. <laughs> Come on. I'm still taking full hits there. Oh boy. Can I heal up now? Thank you. And now we do that again. Now we go and heal up again. I have more than enough Estus. More than enough Estus anyway. So I should be bloody fine. <laughs> Continues to miss his attacks. Like a tank. I love the fact that I'm always doing this like right at the end when the boss is almost dead. I tend to fuck up. Nice. Whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> You're dead. It was a nice fight, my boy. As per usual. I did have a lot of S's left up. Look at that freaking arrow. <laughs> Look at that bolt. Just going straight through her arm. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So it's time to go back over to Fire Rolling. And then it's time to go in there. Deal with the Soul Center. And then I can finally go to sleep. <laughs> I'm kind of tired though, so it is quite nice to be able to go to sleep. Also, I really don't like putting these ashes over here. <laughs> that's another thing that's always an inconvenience to me. It just slows down the playthrough. It may sound very weird, but it, it feels like it just slows down everything. It does also have something to do with the fact that like I'm fighting all the bosses in a row at the end of the game. And that's like constantly... There's a lot of action constantly happening, and then I have like this moment where I have to do <laughs> some tedious, annoying stuff. Alright. There we go. Time to... GTFO. Good luck ahead. Yeah, sure. Alright. I don't expect the Soul Center to be an issue, 
but the soul cinder surprised me once before. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if it surprised me again. I also hope and think that I have all the weapons. There was no axe weapon during City, so I think I have everything. I gotta say I was pretty dang lucky in this playthrough with a lot of the drops. <laughs> Took me some time to get them, uh, the Son of Avarice off camera. And also some armor pieces, but the weapons took like no time at all. Which is pretty dang nice. Also, of course, with the help of the Sign of Avarice, so I had the farm for Sign of Avarice to have like... Just to have better luck, so I didn't waste too much time. Alright, let's freaking go! I'm doing a decent amount of damage to him. Alright, uh, there we go. I have to wait for a moment. My stamina is not recovered quite yet. Whoopsie. Let me go and heal up, just in case. Fireballs, yum! Oh, nice. So, you're gonna go and use... The power within! I was really hoping I'd be able to <laughs> stun him at that point. There we go. Time for the second phase with the best music. In my opinion, of course. Alright. Fun. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> you barbarian! <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hurt. Goodbye, so. Goodbye. Alright. And that's it, people. Ah, solid 18 minutes. <laughs> that's actually, I think that's a new record. Well, I feel like. I really feel like the playthrough where I'm gonna be using curved great swords. I'm gonna go even faster through the game, I think. This is just. This is like a little bit of a taste of how. How fast you can go through this game when you actually have proper weaponry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go link the first flame. And I'm gonna skip the credits, because <laughs> as much as I love the music from the credits, it takes way too long, and I don't wanna sit and wait. Because that's not what I wanna do. Because that's not what this is about, really. Well, I don't know. What is this about? I don't even know. Okay. Let's go on level. Uh, do I need to level up? I feel like my stats are looking good, so I'm just gonna not level up. Right, so let me go into the storage box and empty out my inventory. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Just want to get rid of the weapons that I don't care about. Just going to get rid of you. Uh, rid of you boys. Okay, now. Let me go and grab my phone to take a look at if I actually got all the weapons. Uh, where are you, my boy? This is the Patron Battle Axe. Okay, so I have the Battle Axe, I have the Hand Axe, I have the Thrall Axe, I have the Dragon Slayer Axe, the Butcher's Knife, the Brigand Axe, Twin Knight, uh, sorry, Winged Knight, uh, Twin Axes, the Eleonora, the Manserpent Hatchet, and the Millwood Battle Axe. Good. Alright, it's time to do some reading. Alright. So, the Hand Axe. A crude Hand Axe that serves both as a weapon and a tool of many uses. Favored by Pyromancers of the Great Swamp. This axe has a short range, but uh, is a little, but only moderate weight and reasonable damage. Easily wielded and more powerful than it appears. The skill is War Cry. Let out a spirited War Cry that temporarily boosts attack. The Thrall Axe, a small hand axe used by Lothric slaves, a cunning weapon for a cunning lot. This axe is quick and deadly. The skill is Quick Step. Instantly step behind or around the side of foes, especially effective when locked onto targets. 
And then we have the Battle Axe. Easily wielded axe. Uh, crafted for battle and inflicting standard damage. Its weight can be used to inflict high damage, but uh, must be used carefully as it leaves its wielder open to retaliation. That skill is also a cry, of course. We have the Brigand Axe. An axe favored by brigands of a distant land. Surprisingly sturdy battle axe that requires more strength to wield than a standard axe. The Dragon Slayer Axe. Axe favored by Craton the Wanderer, infamous deserter of the Knights of Mirror. Uh, Call to Dragon Slayer's axe for the lightning that, pulse, uh, that pulsates within its blade, but Craton used it to slay men. <laughs> A lot of PvPers do the same. The Millwood Battle Axe. Battle Axe wielded by Millwood Knights. Its, uh, its blade is blessed by the symbol of the Ethereal Oak. A hefty axe normally wielded by the mightiest of warriors. The skill is Warcry, but this time a special one. The unique Warcry of the Millwood Knights entailed a leap straight uh, toward the enemy and a fearsome roar. The Manserpent Hatchet. Hatchet of the Serpent Men guarding Archdragon Peak. Has a unique broadly curved blade that can sneak past shields. The Butcher Knife. Butcher's Knife uh, with an oddly uh, large blade wielded by the mad woman haunting the Road of Sacrifices. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Back in the Undead Settlement, the woman acquired a taste of for human flesh, of which she took glee in partaking. The skill is Sharpen. Sharpening the blade increases the HP restored with each successful hit. This weapon can be really good, by the way. I didn't use it, but it has A scaling at the beginning. Like, how much scaling would this give me? 76. Well, yeah, you cannot compare it to a plus 10 weapon. You can upgrade this weapon to plus 10 also, so this weapon could be really good. But I didn't use it because I didn't want to, really. Alright, Eleonora, a strange weapon found uh, among malformed inhabitants of the profane capital. The profane flame was triggered by the curse of these women, relatives of a certain oracle, but despite their uh, culpability, they went on living without any cares. Huh. The skill is Feast Bell. Hold up the axe and wave to emit a solemn chime to temporarily make weapons lacerate and to restore HP for each hit. The Winged Knight's Twin Axes. Paired beheading axes wielded by the Winged Knights, who swore themselves to the angels. These axes, more befitting of an ex executioner than a knight, are intended uh, to fit the human body. <laughs> the technique is Chainspin. Sweep foes in a large spinning motion and use strong attack to continue the motion until stamina is exhausted. And those are, quite surprisingly, all the axes in the game. <laughs> like, there aren't a lot of axes. The same in the next picture, which is going to be um, katanas. There's not going to be a lot of katanas, which means that I'm going to be going at a pretty decent pace. Also, all the katanas that you can get are very easy to get in a certain way. I don't have to grind for any of the katanas, so we'll have to see how fast that's going to go. Even though I do remember that katana... Well, actually, I don't know how katanas are. Because last time I used katanas, I used it to get a bit of pyromancy build. And that was not a good idea. <laughs> that didn't end well. Or I, maybe I did like some stats screwing up or whatever. I remember dying a lot of times and not doing a lot of damage. So we'll have to see how that's going to go. But my thoughts on this particular build is, first and foremost, axes are amazing. The same as hammers, really. Even though axes... <sighs> there is a difference between them, though. I will say, like as the, as the text is saying, I feel like you're left open a lot more when using axes. That's one thing that I've noticed. The other thing is, um, apparently, I think if you refine this with a refined gem, not this one in particular, because this one requires a lot of strength, but the normal battle axe, if you refine that one, I think you can get a really... Like, to get it with a quality build with a lot of dexterity and strength, you can probably get more damage out of it than strength only. Aside from that, the Warcry, I used it in the beginning a little bit, but aside from that, it's not super useful for me. And also, the cosplay. I gotta say, I like this cosplay. Well, I don't like the helmets too much. I gotta say, I don't like the Gwyn. Ah, oh, sorry, that. Oh, why am I so <laughs> Um, I don't like the Name is King crown that much. It also blocks a lot of my view when I'm trying to parry. <laughs> I've noticed it a couple of times that I was trying to parry. I was like, oh wait, I cannot properly see what my enemy is doing because the freaking wig is in the way. Oh well. I do really like the way this character looks. I like the way this went. This is a really short playthrough of only 17 episodes. And those episodes were usually only 20 minutes. With the emphasis on usually. A couple of exceptions to that. Yeah. This was fun. This was really fast and really fun. This is also very interesting for me because I haven't... Um, I haven't recorded in quite a long time. Well, a long time. I haven't recorded in a little bit. And then suddenly when I start recording this, I like... I don't know why, but I, 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 there was a long time in my life 
I like in my life, and I guess in the last couple of months or whatever, or even in the last year, that I always had like issues with starting to talk. I always had like breathing issues, and like I, I, I couldn't get enough air in my lungs, and I always had like I always had to put, pour like a lot of effort into constantly talk, like into doing the commentary. Well, when I started doing this, the same with something else that I've been starting to do, which is I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue doing that. The commentary just flows. It just it just flows. It just goes, flows, and I don't feel like I have to put in that much effort, which is really nice. Because <laughs> before I had to put in a lot of effort to even commentate. Might have something to do with my allergies that are going away slowly but surely, or maybe not. Could also be that I finally have some amount of control over my own breath. I have a feeling that that's the thing that's happening, but it doesn't matter much. <laughs> that's nothing to do with this. Also, this is the end of the episode. I tend to random ram ramble on at the end of the episode. But I hope you enjoyed this playthrough nonetheless. Next up is going to be Katanas. I'm very interested in this playthrough. The next one, the Katana playthrough. Because I don't know what Katanas are capable of. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode just fit while I was playing Dark Souls 3. The playthroughs and next episode will continue with... Or next playthrough, technically. will continue with Katanas. Goodbye.